Hello and welcome to another Power On Channel episode. Today I'm just going to do a mini project which is going to be to reprogram this little clamp meter. This is a, a mini uh, clamp meter which is from UNI-T, it's the UT210E. And I understand from uh, reading online that you can actually reprogram the chips inside here. Now why would I want to do that? Well, uh, for a bit of fun. Um, but also I think there's some useful changes that I can adopt. One of them is that uh, I can increase the number of counts of this particular clamp meter from 2000 up to 6000. What's that going to mean? Well I'll talk about that in a minute. I'll try and demonstrate it. I'll do a before and after. But other things that it's going to change, which I find quite annoying, one of them is when you come from the off position, I'll try and sort of stop the glare on the screen there, when you come from the off position, and mostly I use it for measuring volts, it defaults to AC, and you have to press this button to get it onto DC. Similarly, if you go onto amps, it defaults onto AC, and you have to press to get DC. I'd prefer that if I could uh, switch the unit on and it comes automatically to DC rather than AC. Um, another thing is once you've uh, been using the meter I think the timeout is around about 15 minutes which is I find quite short and I'm going to try and set that to around about an hour. So how do we do this? Well, um, we just need to get inside the unit and attach some leads. We'll be using an Arduino Uno to reprogram it. Just before I do that though, I'll try and demonstrate the 2000 counts. So I'm going to use the 2 amp rating here. And in this case, I'm actually going to measure AC volts. I've just bared the live and the neutral out here. I'm just going to switch on this heater. And immediately you see that goes to overload, showing that it's above 2 amps. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch it onto the 20 amp level. And you can see it's drawing 4.5 amps roughly. Now if I change this to a 6000 count, I'm hoping that that 2 amp um, range will actually work all the way up to 6 amps. So we should be able to display 4.45 amps on that range. So not much of an advantage, but hey, that's uh, that's the way it goes. What do counts mean? Well, let's talk about what they don't mean. Um, in terms of uh, any meter, it's nothing to do with repeatability. It is nothing to do with accuracy. It's just simply the number of counts that the machine can make before it sort of goes into overload. So let's switch this off. Let's get inside the unit. Just going to zoom in a bit. First things first, we'll pop the battery box cover off. Okay, we're straight in. Um, not much to see really. Uh, what we have here, the two large pads. This is where the battery box, oops, just shake those out. That's where the battery leads actually come into contact. What I'm going to do is, because I'm going to be reprogramming this, we need to power the device up. And so I'm going to solder a couple of temporary wires onto there and get a temporary battery box uh, arranged so that we can get three volts onto the board. And then we're going to make some uh, connections onto these pins here. And I'll put a link in the description or possibly put something on the video to show you which connections go to which connections on the Arduino. And we'll do a simple reprogram. Okay, I've uh, soldered that in. There are actually some pads just um, off the main pads here which are marked positive and negative. Obviously probably best uh, for these contacts if I don't add any solder blobs on there. So yeah, I've gone on to those little adjacent pads. Let's just pop in uh, 
a couple of these are actually double A for this holder, I think. Gosh, a bit tight though. Let's just see whether that works okay. Yep, that's fine. So now on to the second one. I'm just going to pop one of these out whilst I'm working on the panel. Oh, there it goes. So now I need to connect into these pins here. Now, awkwardly, they're not your sort of bog standard 0.1 inch. They are slightly different. I do have some of the um, different pitch ones. Let me just get a uh, measuring stick on that. So, see if we can focus in on this a little bit. Um, roughly, roughly, what's this? Hmm. Two mil? Yeah, it looks like a two mil pitch. Anyway, that I've actually broken from a uh, double headed row. Just taken out the second row of pins. That seems to fit in there quite nicely. So I think I'll go ahead, maybe actually I'll just remove the plastic from the other side first. So it truly is a single row. And then we'll get that soldered in. I'm uh, just assuming a little bit here. I didn't check this once I soldered that in because I don't want to have to unsolder it. Pretty sure that's going to fit in okay and leave in, uh, leave in situ on the board. Okay, let's do that. Okay, I've gone a slightly different way. I've put individual pins into the board here. As it was that header, although it fitted, it's very difficult to get any DuPont wires, these female DuPont wires, onto it because the pitch is just two millimeters rather than uh, 0.1 of an inch. So I don't know whether you can see that, but I've put them on all sorts of janky sort of angles and splayed out a bit so uh, they don't file with each other. Anyway, let's get this connected up to an Arduino Uno and see if we can't uh, get it reprogrammed. So I've got everything connected up here. I've got an Arduino Uno and the A5 and A4, which are the SCL and the SDA. The I squared C lines, they're connected up on this uh, yellow and green jumper wire. And then I've got 3.3 volts and a couple of grounds all into those headers that I soldered into the board. Now, I believe that I can suck the data out of the EEPROM. The reason why I want to do that first is I want to preserve the data that I already have, just in case anything goes wrong. And the way to do that is just simply to open up a window in ID uh, in sorry in Arduino. I've got one open up here, and I've loaded up the I squared C Arduino 210E program. And the setup routine basically has all the program information in it. We open up a serial port so that we can see it on the serial monitor, and we dump the EEPROM contents. At the moment, the uh, commented out line here, which is to modify the EEPROM. So that's, yeah, it's commented out at the moment because we, we don't want to do that just yet. So let's see if I can't just connect up the USB and suck the data out. So let's just open up a serial window. And hopefully when I connect, it'll run the program. I need to do that again. There we go. Opening up the serial monitor window actually causes the Arduino to reset. And if I just go back to the top here, we can see before the EEPROM dump. So this is my EEPROM information as it is from the factory. What I'm doing now is I'm just going to copy all that. Control C. And then maybe up, open up Notepad. Just 
Oops, paste that in there. Now I also need to um, do something, and that is to read off a couple of figures. So I need to count down to uh, position 50 and 51. So this is like row 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And so it's these two numbers here that I'm interested in. And they need to be copied from 50 and 51 across to, I think it's 56 and 57, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, let's just have a look at the program because the notes are in there. So if we just remember 78 and 97, if we go up to here, we say the dotless mode calibration data copied from 50 and 51 into 56 and 57, and I've forgotten already what it was. It's 78 and 97, so that would be 78 in there, and 97 in there. Now, that's my data. What I need to do now is, actually just let me remove the USB, and so I can't program just at the moment. I've uncommented that line there. I'm going to reload this program back up to. Now I can't do that. Here we go. Sorry. So it's uploading. It's done uploading. Now to program the EEPROM it's slightly different. So if I move that just out of the way again. A couple of things I need to do. I need to use another ground wire here and ground out to the right hand side of a little capacitor on this side. We also need to have the meter powered up. So, just being a little bit careful, I'm just going to switch that into uh, voltage AC. Won't come on yet because I haven't got a battery in, so I'm going to pop the battery in now. You can hear the meters come on. So now I need to ground out this capacitor. And I believe this uh, puts the meter into reprogramming mode. Then I'm going to come off across to the Arduino IDE. And I'm going to open the serial monitor port. And I think just for double check, let me just press reset there. Okay, that seemed to do something. Let's have a look back at the screen. And hopefully this time we see a difference. So this is before I dumped. So let's take the all one, two, three, four, five. Oh, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Yes, that was 78 and 97. And across here there was uh, no data in there. Let's just come down. 78.97 and here we have 78.97 so it's actually in these two locations here let's go back up again hmm. it's both the same you just have a think about that yeah it's my fault probably for pressing the reset button it seemed to have run uh, twice the program so I'm seeing here 78.97 then nothing in here or not not uh, these two numbers at least anyway and then if i go to the after eprom dump then i'm saying 78 and 97 is now in here then also all of the other changes that are in the program which give me uh, i can just look at these here giving me a, a different count, uh, 6,000 counts in this case, dotless mode, which we'll have a look at, powering the backlight off after 30 minutes, uh, the backlight time, so yeah, that's backlight time for three minutes and the power off after 30 minutes, rather than the usual 15. 
and disabling some of these alarms and uh, yes dotless in the amps range so let's um, let me just sort of tidy things back up again and see how it looks on the actual meter itself let me just uh, zoom in on the meter a bit more and yes indeed when I switch the meter on now I'm just trying to stop that glare for you sorry about that there we go so immediately it comes into the DC range rather than the AC and now you have to practically press to select the AC range which is great fantastic another change is coming into the amps mode we can see that there is no dot anymore hence dotless mode at counting in milliamps and now I'll do a demonstration when I get things sort of uh, tidied up again and see whether we can count up to more than three amps on that range and so on and so forth so yes I mean uh, the other changes in terms of the uh, backlight and what have you uh, I guess I'd have to time that but I've no reason to understand that uh, that's not extended now to three minutes and also the timeout to uh, to power off but uh, only time will tell. Anyway, let me get it packaged up and we'll just do the amps test on it. Okay, everything is um, back together as it was, uh, except with new parameters installed. Let's uh, switch this across to the 2 amp range and surely enough it comes up in um, DC, milliamps. There's no decimal point as you can see there. Now the problem with that is obviously because the uh, the range symbol only shows amps so it's not entirely consistent of course but uh, I don't think I'm going to forget that. So let's um, just toggle that on to AC and we will trek. I've got this uh, heater switched on next to me. Pop that round alive and there we have it. A meter that was 2000 counts is now 6000 counts. Well four and a half thousand at least anyway I haven't uh, got a way of getting it up to six thousand and testing it but uh, yeah if you don't like the dotless mode you can toggle out of that and it will come up with the dot mode and just toggle back around again if you prefer the dotless but you know a lot of the time I'm actually measuring uh, low DC and I don't know I quite like the fact that it's uh, dotless, just showing 27, uh, 26 uh, milliamps there. Oh, obviously, if it was zeroed out, it'd be zero as it should be. But um, yeah, that's quite a useful uh, upgrade of quite a cheap meter. What do you think? Anyway, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Ta now.